Welcome back, folks. Uh, we are here at day four of reInvent. Things. Only day four, not day 400. This, it, it, this is reInvent, <laughs> this is like dog years. We've been here for 73 weeks now, and I can't feel my feet anymore. Blink twice if you're being held hostage. All right, so uh, once again, day four of reInvent. Um, we have just finished Werner's keynote. We've, we've gotten some really good juicy tidbits, and we are going to continue on with our interview process. Once again, I am Chris Williams, Enterprise Architect for WWT and AWS Community Hero. With me today, with me now, I have somebody that we go back and forth on Twitter a lot. Yeah, we, it's uh, been years. It's, it's, we, we, uh, we've, we've been snarky, we've shared a lot of knowledge with each other. Um, he, he is a good friend that I don't see enough in the real world, Julian Wood. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Julian Wood. I'm a developer advocate within the serverless team at AWS. I've been at AWS just over two years which in, I don't know, dog years is probably about 3,000. That's, that's another 14 years. Uh, yeah, <laughs> never mind in COVID times, see, all of our When our you started, you were bald. Time, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Normally, it's the other way around. You lose all your hair and go gray, and something weird happened. I drank some of the you wrong Kool-Aid. Yeah, yeah. You've got the Mandarin immortality ring now. I know, job done, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. So, um, this, is, this is a standard man on the street interview. Um, what announcement, what, what keynote offering, what tidbit of information has gotten you the most excited here at reInvent? <laughs> I've got three things actually, and I will keep it oh, brief. Awesome. Um, no, no, no. The one, no, one no was uh, Werner's keynote today. Yes. Werner's always just cool. Um, uh, before I joined AWS, the first time I came to reInvent, and I came on my own dime, I was just excited about AWS. I think that was 2017 or 2018, and on the Friday morning when everyone's just frazzled and basically dead, if this is day 400, tomorrow's day 500. Right. And uh, walking through the Palazzo um, uh, uh, Hotel, I just happened to see Werner. So I just went up to him and said, uh, uh, hi Werner, thanks so much for putting on reInvent, it was such a really good show. And he sort of look, looks like me and he's got these sort of big eyes, he's got two sort of handlers which are shorter than him because he's a big guy. Right, right. <laughs> and he just came out to me and gave this massive bear hug and pretty much lifted me off the ground. Did he pop your back? Was he? <laughs> it, it felt like that. And then he just put me down and stepped away and said, no, thank you for coming. It's people like you who come that make this a pleasure for me. It was just this random encounter. So it was cool. So yeah, yeah and that was awesome. nice. And, and yeah, in the keynote when he spoke to Matt Coulter from uh, Liberty IT, um, I've known Matt for a number of years. Yep. I've, been, I've in fact visited Liberty IT in, in Belfast and just the work that he's doing and just to see sort of his enthusiasm and the cheer that he got when he walked in and he's just a nice guy. And yeah, the amazing things he's done for the community and uh, CDK and everything. Uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a cool highlight to do. Awesome, awesome. And then um, uh, service announcements, oh, I mean, they're, they're just, uh, yeah, they're, they're just loads. Uh, Fast uh, temp and storage, uh, yeah, temp storage for Lambda. That's not not quite come out yet, but that's going to be awesome. Uh, event bridge and S3 uh, integration. That's going to be great. Obviously, more serverless services. Uh, you know, that was announced on the day one. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Mm. <laughs> and then. <clears throat> The most useful tidbit I've got this whole week came from, bizarrely, uh, Adrian Cockcroft, who said, in the beginning of the day, put your phone on low power mode yep. so it saves battery for the whole day yep. instead of when yep. your battery runs out. I can't believe I never realized that and my phone has lasted the whole day, which is basically impossible at reInvents. <laughs> I can't believe I've come all the way here and got a tidbit about phone battery utilization from one of the gurus, so. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Uh, actually, and, and we are going to mint that and put that in there as, as part of the show notes. Because the advice package. That yeah. is absolutely 100% relevant advice. Yeah. Yep, awesome, Who cool. Thought? Well, that, that was fabulous. So, question number two, and this is a very open-ended question. Okay. So, so, what do you hope to leave reInvent with? With? Phone battery. <laughs> a, a phone battery. Um, I think, partic I think particularly over the past two years when we haven't seen p people in person is actually just connecting with humans. And uh, one of the other um, uh, marketing developer advocates, uh, Marsha, bumped into me the other day and she looked at me and she says, Julian, you've got legs. <laughs> and there's this thing, you've had all these uh, uh, chime calls or Zoom calls or what do you have, and that's sort of all you see of people. And actually, uh, you know, some people you do know, and I mean, we know each other, and you know, some of the other cool heroes around here, you know each other, but there are a lot of people we've never met, or people who've just joined uh, Amazon, and they're either product managers or marketing right. people, and then uh, other people you interact with on Twitter, and actually, in these sort of scary times, it is sort of freaky to come to reInvent in a way, and it's nervous, and I've, I've actually been impressed how Vegas has, you know, been really well masked up. I really thought coming here that, have no idea how that's going to work with millions of people in Vegas, and um, 
And so yeah, actually just leaving it with sort of these personal human connections and we all do like virtual conferences and that is a way to do it, but you realize the power of community and the, the power of uh, personal connections yes. and yeah. 100%. That was it, so yeah. The, the, big, the, the most common refrain that I've heard since I've been here has been, I can't believe you're, I can't believe, what, what was that? You are a lot less short <laughs> in person yeah, than you are on Your legs camera. are long. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Cool. Well, Julian, thanks very much. Thanks for um, having me. Yeah. How can people find you on Twitter? Yeah, certainly Twitter's the easiest way. Julian underscore Wood. Uh, I don't get to get to have cool Twitter names like you, but uh, yeah, Julian underscore Wood. Uh, happy to have a chat about serverless or any other kind of things. And yeah, enjoy the and rest I of And I highly show. encourage you to follow him because he is a wealth of knowledge. Um, really, really good we'll stuff there. Cool. And uh, yeah, I've actually got a session which I'm doing I must make sure okay. I'm not late do, in do an you need hour. To go now? <laughs> <laughs> it's starting, it's starting, it's starting. Uh, so yeah, that's best practices of advanced serverless developers. That will be available on YouTube afterwards. So yeah, if you're into doing serverless kind of stuff, um, that's a roller coaster ride of an hour of lots of stuff. So Wonderful. Cool. Well, Julian, always a pleasure. Thank you very much. All right, man, have a great day. Cheers.